What's going on guys? Hope you're all having an amazing day. Today we're looking at Lincoln Air Sense that have sold for lots of money. So first up we have a 1974 San Francisco minted scent with a reverse brockage. If you look closely at the picture you'll notice that the portrait, lettering, and the numbers are flipped. During the process of when this coin was minted it was struck with another scent planchet on top of it. The scent was rotated several degrees relative to the reverse die, and the strike caused the present coin to have a 1974 San Francisco minted obverse and a reverse brockage from a 1973 cent. At auction in 2020, this coin here sold for $11,400. And then second, we have another 1974 San Francisco minted Lincoln cent with a averse die break with a retained piece of die on the reverse. This air is pretty interesting. It has a heavy rim cut on the obverse, but the piece of the die that broke off is actually struck into the reverse of this coin. And at auction in 2007, this coin here sold for $9,000. And third, we have a 1983 Philadelphia minted nickel that was struck on a copper scent planchet. This coin here is more than just a wrong planchet error. It is also a transitional error. The mint ceased production of copper scents in 1982 and transitioning to copper plated zinc planchets that year. A few of the old copper blanks caught into the hoppers at the end of the year and found their way into the coining processes in 1983. Those airs are deeply, deeply coveted by Lincoln Air collectors and at auction in 2021, um, this coin here sold for $4,800. And fourth, we have a 2001 Denver minted Lincoln scent muled with a Roosevelt dime reverse. For all of you who might not know, a mule is a coin struck from mismatched dies. Um, but anyway, so this coin here at auction just a few months ago um, sold for $114,000. And then last, we have the 1999 Denver Minted Roosevelt Dime that was broad struck on a scent planchet. This error that accentuates the fact that the planchet was incorrect by the broad struck features. The devices are generally sharp, although some of the peripheral lettering displays the distortions caused by the expansion of the planchet during the strike. Traces of zinc alloy are seen in a few places on the averse and reverse on this coin, and at auction just a few months ago in 2021, this coin here sold for $7,500. So thanks guys for watching, make sure to keep out a look for all these type of errors when you're coin roll hunting, um, when you're looking through coin collections, and we'll see you next week.